Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to unbox the NCC 1701 Refit Enterprise. Let's go. All right, everybody. We are going to unbox the following kit. Now, I'm not building this anytime soon. I've kind of uh, run out of bandwidth for model building. Um, I've got some things going on in my personal life that I can't focus on this, but I will say that I am excited about at least the unboxing. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it'll inspire me to build it. Bought this kit from a local hobby shop here in San Antonio. Was really happy to find it. And so we are going to start the process now this is this kit is polar lights 949040 and um, the box itself is beautiful i mean you could literally probably frame some of this artwork here uh, it's just really nice uh, i've been told that this does not come with the aztec uh, the aztec -ing on the ship so but it does come with your traditional interior docking bay shuttlecraft the stand and of course you can buy the uh, Aztec -ing, it looks like all right without further ado let's go ahead and start the unboxing process go ahead and grab this and see what we can do here this baby up yay I'm so excited you know this is like a shiny new car right you get it and you don't want anybody to bend your bend anything or run into you and you kind of park at the very end of the <laughs> of the supermarket parking lot because you don't want anybody to park next to your car and that's what this is like this is just a shiny brand new kit that i just got and i really don't want any scratches on the box so i'm trying to be really careful but i mean there's some bending it's shipping here you see that little bend there that's all right that's just the way these things work all right well go if you've never bought this kit before I've had a few of these but not this one this one's the latest version of it for you can new boxing um, but the ones I've purchased in the past are just awesome they're just great so let's get this open and wow look at this these are huge nacelles they're perfect for lighting up if you ever want to light them up you don't have to but I hear these ships are beautiful when, when lit and you can you can see the quality and the markings and the engraving tooling process this is huge Oops, let me open this up I've got to open up the saucer section Let's see here. Let's open up the saucer section. Yep. I can already see the beauty. It's just beautiful here. Wow. <clears throat> now, you know, I don't know when this was molded. There are some stains here in the in the inside the plastic, as you can see here. Um, it's a little strange to me. I, I assume that's from the molding process. Maybe the tool that was used, you know, the, it's part of the uh, 
die cast or the metal tool that was used to mold this whole ship is plastic. But, you know, that's going to be light blocked anyway because I do plan on when I do build this, this will be the first time I build this and I uh, with lighting. I'm planning to light this one up when I build it. But, uh, yeah, oh man, huge, 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 huge and beautiful. All right, let's put this aside somewhere. What else is in here? Secondary hull. Looks like there are the top and the bottom. So this is the neck. Go ahead and open this up. Yep, so top of the hull, bottom of the hull. So you can definitely see where this is gonna fit together here. And looks like I'm gonna have to clear some of this out, some of the flange out to get this to fit in there. So you need the side pieces on this, which are right here. These are the sides of the hull and uh, Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is the bottom of the hole. Yep. This is the bottom. Okay. So this is the bottom. These are the sides. Okay. Maybe that's why... Oh, I see. There are two bottoms. I guess for the two different versions. Yep. The, the version from Star Trek II, which the soundtrack you hear right now, and the version from the motion picture. So you've got a couple of different versions that you can work on. But side panels will fit right there and from what I remember there is a just a little bit of uh, of uh, putty that's needed on some of these but not a lot and of course look at all these uh, windows they're nice and cut out that's gonna look really nice when it's done all right so you've got your secondary hull pieces here I'm getting inspired, everybody. I think I might want to build this guy this winter. This is we're in a, we're in August 2022 right now, so probably not practical to start. Lots of clear pieces. Very nice, very nice. Always very nice. More clear pieces here. Lots of window pieces, and uh, the top of the. Um, uh, the gardening area, the, the, oh, what's it called? I forget. You, you'll tell me in the comments, I, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, very nice here. More pieces. So you've got the saucer bridge, the bottom sensor array, um, all the little pieces for the rest of the body. Yep, here are the pylons and the neck, and we put those all together. Look at all this. Um, more like shuttle shuttles for the from the shuttle bay. Uh, more of the saucer. So these are the windows from the sides of the saucer. And of course, this is the um, inside interior deck shuttle bay that needs to be put together. Most people work on this part first. Uh, I might, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I might do that first, maybe not. And you've got your base, the rod, which I'll replace with a hollow rod for lighting. I might, you know, they do sell um, these uh, windows here that you can light up. So you cut this out and then replace them. I might actually do that, not quite sure, but you know, we'll see. Decal sheet, let me just make sure. Yeah, decal sheet. Okay, so the um, aztec is not included in this. So you can see right through this and you can tell these are the decals, the, the main markings, right, for the ship but there is no aztec included in this. So you definitely have to buy the Aztec-ing separately. Um, and of 
course, all the instructions. They start you off with the saucer first. Um, the neck is number two, deflector dish three. Arboretum, all right, shuttle bay, shuttle interior, pylons, secondary hull bottom. Of course, the nacelles right here. The shuttlecraft and of course the final assembly. Display base, decals, markings, and all that. So it looks really easy and fast from these instructions, <laughs> but uh, it definitely is not easy and fast. Um, secondary hull and pylon markings. And cell markings, officer lounge decal and markings, base markings. Yeah, this is a beautiful ship once it's done, but from step one to the last step, I remember this taking me at least three months, maybe up to six months. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of painting involved, right? There's painting. Um, there's now with lighting it'll probably take me six months who knows uh, and since there's no since there are no um, Aztec marking decals on this one I'm gonna have to paint those decals those Aztec markings on and that's going to be interesting I've never done that before so I'll have to purchase a couple of things uh, so so this is the kit itself um, to light it up, paint it, you know, there's a few, a few things that you really need to purchase. So for example, uh, I'm going to need to purchase a lighting kit for the deflector dish. Probably, um, I'm going to have to purchase some boards for the, um, to make the lights blink, uh, nav lights. All that and uh, I'm probably gonna have to purchase a few more LEDs for the crystal observation here and the observation deck There's a few other things yeah so this is a big big project I'm looking at it and thinking Ooh, do I really want to start this right now <laughs> all right y'all thank you for watching this unboxing I hope you enjoyed it if you do get one of these models and start building it I'll be on the lookout for that. Let me know. I'd like to see your build, see how you do it. Maybe learn from that. And then uh, I will eventually build this guy and we'll learn. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if this was something that you thought somebody else might want to look at. Thanks again, and we'll see you at our next video update.